In this video, I'm gonna be designing a poster design from start to finish. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with setting up like a basic grid, probably something like this using the guide layout. Um, I usually stick with something similar to like this 32 column. I like this and then from there I can manipulate it, change the margins a little bit and whatnot. Recently I've made a few posters where I use like a split image thing like this Kragbin one or this one from the Bay Boss new worst fonts video. And I'm thinking I wanna do something like that with this but perfect it more. So I'm gonna create another guide. Like what's cool about these is you can go 50% uh, horizontal and then you have that right split through the middle like that. I pulled some images from stills earlier. I've been using that. It's like a new platform for designers uh, where it's all these good photographers who upload images. I want to have this concept about like touching grass. I started to really gravitate towards this one with the girl just because it was more dynamic and it felt kind of mystical and I think it'll work out well. So I'm just going to drop that in and get that over exactly to where I need it. We have it right down to 50%. I don't know what kind of typeface I want to use for this. I'm thinking of doing something with some kind of glow and like noise around it. So either Degular. I also wanted to try Menno Display. I'm going to go with this one. So what I want to do here is I'm going to go negative 50 and optical just to fully bring that kerning in like that. Probably adjust some of these spots just a little bit. Something like that should work. All right. Let's pump this up to like 206 and then I'm just going to center this all. I want to do some kind of like glow effect. Let's start with this green, add a little bit of noise to it, spread this out some, add a little bit more glow actually just to have it pop. Now for the image, I'm going to add a super slight motion blur just to kind of separate it from the background a little bit. That's pretty good at 12. Mask out the areas that person's in just to have it kind of stand out a little bit. And I'm just doing that by clicking into these little areas and kind of creating the border of the person and checking to make sure it's good. I think I wanna use that other font, Degular, for the body copy. Probably line like type up here at the bottom. I want something that's kind of going with the theme of uh, go outside and recharge. Degular, I think regular, Degular, regular, actually. I think I'm gonna use light. And what I wanna do for this is line it, line up one on each and then one in the middle right here and then one on the right side. We got those in. Let's make this background black too. I can't really read this yellow. I think we'll do rest, recharge, recover. I wanna apply the same glow that we have from the touch grass, but I'm gonna to have to kind of dial it back a little bit because it's gonna be way too high compared to these other ones. All right, this is kind of looking already pretty cool. I also wanna do some type right here. We need like a cool little tagline, you know? So like nature's simple cure. Let's bring that way in. All right, slide that up, something like that. For I will do for creative burnout and block. And then we'll just line that up on this other side. And what I want to do is use this font, fit it right in the middle. I think that'll work. I think if we stretch it down or like stretch it like this and down that that could work and then drop it in the middle, something like that, fix the kerning a little bit on it. I think something like that could work pretty cool. I am liking this thing I've been doing where I duplicate what I already have up top. So I want to bring this and then just rotate it and drop in like some cool shapes or something down here at the bottom. I think if we take the O, we can create like a cool little circle pattern. Uh, I need to take the glow off here. This would be kind of easier in Illustrator, but then we'll make that the same color and drop it right here and use this as like our little shape to build a little pattern out of. Now I want to line this up to this sideways and line it up to our thing right there. So I duplicate that half, move it over, and then duplicate it again and go half again. Now we have this kind of cool little pattern that we can shrink down a little bit and place in there. And to keep this kind of symmetry thing going, I think I'll grab this and move it to the other side as well. That's like a cool little, just little filler shape or whatever. Put the glow back on it. I think that's better. I think we can do some type right here, maybe vertically and then on the other side to keep up this symmetry thing. And then we'll, you need some kind of image, I think right here to fill the space. I do kind of like the negative space so far, but I'm really liking these kind of eye burning colors, this really visual vibration. It's so like inorganic. So I think it clashes good with this idea of like touch grass and these nature, more sceneries. It's a good, good juxta. Log out we can use and tune in. And we'll place those both somewhere lined up on the edge like this. And then I just need like a even smaller body copy next to it. I've been liking using different hierarchy with typography and different stacks and center uh, composition and also some asymmetry and just using a small selection of typefaces, but 
trying to vary them in like their positioning and stuff. I'm gonna write out some little spiel. So, you know, it leaves that a little open for interpretation, however you're tuning out, you know? Uh, and then we need to definitely scale this down and then we can fit it like next to it like that. Scale this one down too and then we'll put this one on our, our right align. So it kind of stacks up too. That's looking pretty good. I just had to adjust the glow a little bit too on the body copy, but I'm liking this. I think some of the only f maybe finishing touches is I want to also print this out, but I want to do like a stylized version of this image in this space. So we need some kind of container like this. And I, what I want to do is duplicate image of this person and then take off the effects because I'm going to apply some new ones. What we'll do is flip this and then fit it into that space. Yeah, something like that. Now, what I wanna do is I have this plugin, or not a plugin, action that I saved, Punk Stamp, and it's just a stacking of different like um, grains and noise. So I'm gonna hit, hit it with that, but then I'll show you what I did. So if you wanna save the settings or whatever. All right, so something like that. Then after you edit it a little bit, here's gonna be the exact settings. Stamp on top, four and two, grain, 69, 32, then intensity 43 and 61. And that gives us this kind of Xerox style effect. I think one last final touch is to print this out, um, scan it back in, cause I just, I like that look and give it some color correction and just fully finalize it. So here's the scan after printing and scanning it back in. It makes everything a little bit more blue because since this isn't like the highest quality printer, it kind of blends some of the colors. I actually like how it looks. The only downside is it messes with our yellows and things a bit. So I'm gonna need to brighten these out. But let me just size this up to the right area. Now I usually have a preset I use for most posters where I go in with the camera raw filter and adjust the blacks and the colors. So I'll show you that right now. But, but here's the settings, you know. I bump up the exposure, the contrast, the highlights the vibrance and, and there they are next to each other. So that kind of brought it back to that more saturated state, but with still all the texture and everything that we like from printing. All right, and then I still need to fix some of these colors. So I'm just gonna drop a selective color, a few more adjustments. This will actually let you manipulate each area. I brought the yellows back to their more vibrant neon state with the yellows. Took away some cyan, the magenta and boosted that up. Also with the greens a little bit. And then with the black point, I use this to, sometimes it gets real washed out with the print because it's a inkjet printer, so it can't go full black. So you bring it down just to strengthen those shadows a little bit. And then the final thing, I just hit it with this color lookup just to kind of real subtle wrap it all together. Overall though, I'm really excited with how this poster turned out. It was fun to experiment with some different type and layout and go outside a little bit more and get off the internet all the time. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Peace.